At a meeting of the Ukraine Defense Contact Group, also known as the Ramstein Group, Spanish Defense Minister Margarita Robles confirmed Madrid's decision to send missiles for Patriot anti-aircraft systems to Ukraine Robles announced at the Ramstein format meeting that Spain would be sending a new batch of large-caliber artillery ammunition to Ukraine. Spain also plans to provide additional 155mm and 120mm caliber ammunition in the coming months. Regarding Spain's contribution to Ukraine's air defense, Robles announced that a batch of long range interceptor missiles for Patriot Systems is being sent and will arrive at a logistics base in four days, within the next two months. Spain also plans to send Ukraine machine guns, protected wheeled logistics transport, armored infantry fighting vehicles, anti tank weapons, and field artillery howitzers, as well as anti-drone systems and leopard tanks. Spanish media reported Spain would send four missiles but the defense ministry did not say how many would be sent following appeals by Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, EU governments have been urged to supply more badly needed defense systems to Kiev, especially countries such as Spain and Greece that have them in their arsenal. Since the start of the Hamas-Israeli war, the number of dead in Gaza has reached 34,388. This was reported by the Ministry of Health of the Gaza Strip. The IT was reported that the number of injured people reached 77 for 37. It was noted that a total of 261 soldiers of the Israeli army were killed during the ground operation in Gaza. The IT should be recalled that on October 7, 2023, the Hamas group attacked the territories controlled by Israel. In response, the Israeli army started military operations in Gaza. On November 24, a four-day humanitarian ceasefire was reached between Hamas and Israel, with the mediation of Egypt and Qatar according to the agreement, a group of hostages held in the Gaza Strip were released in exchange for the release of Palestinian teenagers and women in Israeli prisons. Later, the ceasefire regime was extended for two more days under the same conditions. On December 1, the Israeli army started military operations in Gaza again, saying that Hamas violated the ceasefire recently. Hamas responded to a letter signed by 18 world powers urging captives release, says it is open to proposals that address permanent ceasefire, basic rights of Palestinians. Hamas says it has received an official response to its position on ceasefire talks and will study the proposal before submitting its response, the group's deputy chief in Gaza Khalil al Hayas said in A. Statement, more than six months into Israel's military operations in the Gaza Strip, over half of its population of 2.2 million is crammed into the southern city of Rafa. The UN has warned of a humanitarian catastrophe and Israel has faced international criticism for limiting the amount of aid reaching civilians by land. Pentagon has announced that it will immediately send Patriot air defense missiles and artillery ammunition to Ukraine as part of a new military aid package worth $6 billion. At a press conference on Friday, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin announced that the United States would provide its largest security assistance package to Ukraine to date. He emphasized that the supplies would be delivered immediately to support Ukraine's defense efforts. Austin announced that the United States is allocating $6 billion for the largest security assistance package to Ukraine to date. This package is part of a broader $60 billion aid package recently signed into law by President Joe Biden, which also includes $1 billion in immediate aid. Lloyd Austin, however, said that Patriot systems for launching the missiles would not be sent. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has emphasized the urgent need for Patriot systems to counter Russia's escalating air attacks, stating that they could save lives immediately. On Saturday, Ukraine reported a large-scale Russian airstrike. Authorities in Kharkiv reported damage to a hospital, while Energy Minister German Galashchenko stated that energy facilities in three regions were targeted. 
Ukraine reported that Russia launched a missile attack involving cruise missiles, S-300 surface-to-air missiles, and Iskander ballistic missiles. According to Ukraine, they successfully intercepted 21 missiles using aircraft, air defense systems, and jamming techniques, 